here on a no heat for a 90% Bryant unit. And as we can see, when I remove this cover here, look at that. So we got quite some issues here. Look at all that corrosion there. Uh, pretty bad shape there. Um, but so, it wasn't lighting. Uh, inducer was coming on and we weren't getting any uh, ignition. So, well, you can see how bad this is. Just look at that. Look at all that corrosion down there. So, let's see what year this is from. So, it's a 100,000 BTU furnace. And from 96. Wow. So, that's old. Wow, just look at all the corrosion there. So, coil is fairly new. That's the flue intake. Condensate pump. So, I am getting 120 power to the igniter, but when I ohm out the igniter itself, I have OL, so we know it's bad. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. I probably can't. There we go. And we have OL, so we know it's open. Igniters all the way in the back. Uh, I don't know if you can see in that corner by that first burner. So we're gonna have to get up in there. Uh, so it's gonna be these two wires here. Hopefully, we have enough slack to kind of remove that that um intake get that out the way out the way but we don't know if something else is gonna go wrong with this furnace I mean looking at this oh wow that's really bad look at all that oh, mm -mm -mm. where all this rust come from oh man I'm pretty sure that secondary is, is clogged so I wouldn't mind doing a combustion test just to see what this uh, what this is actually doing. So, but for now, we're gonna explain to them that we're gonna have to replace the igniter just to check everything else out and go from there. So, I haven't even seen what what this looks like underneath. But all right, so I'll let you know.